Hello folks, how are you? Um, we're coming to you today with our first video and uh, the name of our video is a chalk pigment powder. We're going to show you how to make your own pigment powder, pigment powder using chalk all from the Dollar Tree. Every item we have and every item we used is from the Dollar Tree. Also, we like to tell you guys uh, during this time of um, this virus that's out that you want, we want you guys to practice uh, social distancing, uh, wear your mask, and also keep yourself safe and um, try to quarantine. But at the same time, you know, uh, get out, take care of your business, and um, just be safe. That's what we want to say. Practice social distancing and be safe. Okay. All right. So let's get on with the video. What we want to tell you, first of all, is we want to show you all of the supplies and uh, the items that we're going to use all from the Dollar Tree. Let's start with the uh, containers that we're going to use. We got a little decoration here um, to show you that we want to bring you a nice, colorful video. Uh, my granddaughter and I, we love color, and we want to show you what we got here, okay? So let's start over there, granddaughter. We've got the red, which is go for the red nail polish. Show them, show them the red nail polish, okay? And we got the red containers. We're going to make a red color pigment. We have the blue nail polish with the blue containers. We have the green nail polish with the green containers. Show them the green containers. We have the pink nail polish along with the pink containers. We have the purple nail polish, along with the purple containers, the orange nail polish, along with the orange containers. And we have white nail polish, along with the white containers. Um, over here where you see these items, we're gonna tell you about those items a little later. Those items are dealing with uh, making your own swatches. That's, that'll be a separate video. But now, let's show you also the supplies that we have and what we need to work with. This chalk here, you see the egg chalk? This chalk came from the dollar store. Show it up, hold it up so they can see it. This chalk came from the dollar store. We also got a uh, purple, blue, we have the orange, we have the yellow, the red, and the green, okay? But that's one that you can pick up um, from the dollar store. Um, they had that one there and we thought we would grab it so you can see it in case that's the one you want to use. But the chalk that we're gonna use today is actually the colored chalk with all the different colors in it. It has red, blue, green, purple, orange, and white. And um, you can see them in the box, although we've taken out uh, these out of the box because these are the ones we're gonna use to uh, demonstrate how we shave to make the um, color uh, pigment which you'll be using with your acrylic on your um, acrylic nails. Okay, so now let's go over to what we use to set, shave the chalk with. We actually went in the uh, healthcare area where they have the um, foot files. Um, it's like a two-in-one foot file, but we're going to use it to shave the chalk. That way you don't have to use the file, and not to say that it's not, um okay to use the file of course we've watched other videos and i thought that we would come up with a way to shave the chalk without all of the residue and not without breathing all of the um all of the dust then okay so uh that's what we're going to use we also have the nail files that we're going to use to tap the um files to tap the excess uh, chalk off and it's also used to just make sure that it's all fine and it's all mixed up okay and here this is our um nail swatches we we are basically showing you that we've made our own nail swatches and we use actually um the um arts and crafts colored sticks and coincidentally, these color sticks are still the same colors that we're using here along uh, with the um, containers. One thing about the containers that we're using, we noticed that in some of the other videos, they would mix the uh, color pigments and then they would pour them into the container that they're going to store it in. We're going to actually use the container uh, that we're going to store the uh, pigment in and we're gonna actually do the shaving in that same container. That way um, we save time um, 
and we uh, save having to use so many other containers. Okay, let's get started. Which one are you going to start with first? Red. They can't hear you? Red. Okay, my granddaughter's going to start with red. Okay. All right, so we've got the red container. She's going to take the top off. She's going to take one of the fowls that we already have here ready. And she's going to take the red chalk. And she's going to start the shaving um, to uh, show you how you can get color pigment in the shade of red. Okay, very simple and very easy. You can take short strokes like she's doing, or you can take long strokes. Uh, let them see inside what it looks like. Okay, go ahead and continue. So, as you notice, there is no lot of dust. And we are practicing uh, social distancing and using a mask. As you see that she does have the mask on. Okay. Um, this is our first video. We hope we can get some likes and some thumbs up and a share. And we thought we would show you a way to save on your color pigments rather than uh, ordering um, from Amazon or eBay. Of course, we order from Amazon and eBay. And we will order other items, but these particular colors we thought we would make them ourselves and find an easier way to make them okay let's see how much you have okay can you see all of the color that we have so now you can take your nail file and you can break it up and also tap you don't have to take that off go ahead and open your nail file Okay, okay. And show them how you tap off the excess. Stand it. There you go. And as you see, it all of the remaining of the of the color came off. Okay. So you go ahead. Let them see what it looks like. See what it looks like. Okay. Put the top on that one, and we're gonna go on to the next one. Okay. So we did red. Let's go to blue. Okay, we're not going to use the red foul because we don't want the pigments to mix, but we are going to use the blue foul with the blue chalk. Let's roll. Okay, you can make long strokes and get it done, or you can make short strokes. The reason we really made this video was to avoid all of the residue and all of the dust um, to be in your face and having to wear a glove and also having to mix in separate containers, okay? Once you get so much chalk on your foul, you can put your chalk down and take your nail foul and tap the excess chalk off. Show them how you do it. Just leave it down in the container and now tap the excess chalk off tap tap you see the excess chalk falling off okay go ahead and finish shaving and as you see down in the container we're accumulating blue pigment for your acrylic powder tap 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 See how simple it comes off and goes right into the container that you're going to use to store it in. Okay, one more shave and we'll move on to the next color. Great. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, now we're ready to store that pigment in the same container that we shaved it in. You see that? Okay. Now we're going to move on to the, to the green. We're going to try to get them all done. We're going to speed it up a little bit and try to get them all done so that you can see exactly what they look like and um, so that you can see how safe it is and how less residue and less dust that you will have to deal with when uh, making your own color pigments. See, can I turn it around so you can see actually what it looks like?
As you see, there's no residue, none in this camera, none whatsoever. There's no dust. As you get so much chalk on the uh, file, then you take the nail file and tap it. Just like that. And it'll come right off. Tap it all off. You see how it falls right down in the container? Okay, and we go back to shaving again. And when you make long strokes and heavy strokes, you'll be done with that piece of chalk in a matter of maybe a minute or so. Okay, you ready to tap, tap, tap again? Yeah. And you leave the file down in a container like she's doing. And it all comes right off, see? Okay, one more time. We'll do a little bit more shaving form, but we'll move on to the next color. Very simple. Like I said, all Dollar Tree items. She's going to go ahead and store that green, and we're going to move on to the pink. And do we have pink? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, well, we have a pink chalk, but we don't have one here. We're going to use the um, purple. We're going to move on to purple, okay? All right, so we got the purple chalk here. We got a shaver. We're using a new shaver. And here we go. Let's roll, granddaughter. <laughs> Give him a close up. Tap, tap, tap. See how easy it falls off right into the container? And it, guess what? It's falling right where you're going to store it. You don't have to pour it into another container. It saves so much time. Actually, if you had a client to come in and you didn't have a color that uh, they wanted or you were running short on a color, you can simply go ahead and make that color right then. Maybe in your a storage room where you keep your supplies and all, you can go ahead back there in your storage room and make you some pigment and come right back out and mix it up with your acrylic powder, your clear and your white acrylic powder and um, get the shade that you want. And also, while you're mixing this color, depending on how many um, amounts of white and clear you use, you can make this color lighter or you can keep it dark like it is. Okay, you see that? Now, after she taps it off, she's going to hold it up so you can see it. How about that? How about it? Okay. So now we're going to move on to move on to orange. Orange is what we're going to use now. The orange polishes. And all of these polishes, polishes came from Dollar Tree. Here we go. Okay, we can actually... Um, use another file another thing about cleaning these files all you have to do is take these files over to your sink your kitchen sink and rinse them off and they will come clean right away and you go back to like you have had brand new equipment brand new materials and brand new supplies look at that look how pretty that orange is i mean and it's on the money too with the container that is going to be uh, stored in and we're and we're we're shaving it right in the container that we're going to use I mean, this saves so much time. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Now, that's pretty. There she goes. She's tapping. She's tapping. She's tapping. <laughs> good job. Good job. Do you feel, um, granddaughter, do you feel any dust in your nose? No. Do you see any dust in the air? <laughs> it's simpler, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we want to show them how they can really make life simpler and how they can really spend more time doing nails rather than uh, shaving and getting out uh, electric drills and nail drills and uh, that of that and, and things of that sort. I mean, we enjoyed the other videos and we thought we would come up with an idea to um, really save you on um, residue and also save you on money, save you on containers. Everything here, like I said, is from the dollar store. It's from Dollar Tree. Good job, granddaughter. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. She's showing it to you. Good job. Good job. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yes. And it's all powdered. There's no lumps. There's no humps. It's nothing that you have to do 
to um, fix it. It's already good. All right. So our last one is going to be, guess what? Of course, white. Now, you might say, well, why do you use white? You, you got white acrylic. Actually, using white pigment and mixing it with white acrylic makes it even more of a pure white. It makes it even more prettier when you apply it to the acrylic. And um, speaking of applying these colors, we're going to show you a second video. That's going to be on a second video. It's coming up. And we, when we show you what the colors look like as we mix them, we're also going to show you how many different reds we can get, how many different blues, how many different greens will go to pink also, how many different purples and oranges that we can get from these one colors, how many times that we can mix. That's going to be on the second video. And on that same video, we're going to show you how to do this, how to make your own swatches just from these uh, artificial nail tips and from these colored craft sticks. All from where, granddaughter? Dollar Tree. From the Dollar Tree, baby. Here we go, this is the last one. We're doing white, of course you know what the white look like. Look, I'm just so excited that we have no, no residue, no dust. No dust in our noses and no dust in the air. And we're tapping in the same container that it's going to be stored in. How'd you like that? I think it's a great video. What do you think, think granddaughter? I think it'll come out great. So tell them, granddaughter, to hit what? Thumbs like, up, share, and like. Comment, and subscribe button. And your post notification bell to get, to get notifications when we upload a new video. Okay. All right. This is our first video. Tell us how we done. We uh, welcome your constructive criticism. We welcome uh, your claps, your thumbs up. We ask that you like, share, and subscribe. And we want to thank you. And uh, by the way, I want to say this would uh, be my older sister's uh, 66th birthday. Um, God bless her in heaven. Today is June the 6th, and she would have been 66. And I wanted to upload, I wanted to make my first video on June 6th. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to have this uploaded soon and that you all will be viewing it soon. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>